there's a lot of finger pointing and a lot of blame games going around for why Maverick Galen Summers didn't show his face at NWA Mid-South tonight. I showed up. I was here. I did exactly what I was supposed to do because I'm here to entertain each and every one of these fans out here. Maverick, I don't even buy your whole little story about getting attacked. I don't even know what happened. I, I, I'm catching, I'm in the dressing room catching all this secondhand information and people are saying it's my fault? No. I don't even have the kind of time to waste on somebody like you. So if you decide to show up, I might maybe give you a second chance to step in the ring with me. Because as it stands right now, I'm 1-0 against you. That's right, Maverick. 1-0. Because I'm the epitome of sports entertainment, and I'm the best thing going on at NWA Mid-South today. Sure, once upon a time I had the blonde hair and all that jazz, but the reason they call me the golden boy is because it's day one. Day one in this business, I have been obsessed with being a champion. And that obsession paid off because in the past 15 years, nobody has held more titles or been champion more days than I have. But this issue with Jason Peter Rose it's got me scared. It's got me scared not because I'm afraid that he's going to beat me or because he's going to take my title. Because I believe that this issue has become bigger than the championship. And that scares me. That scares me because you've seen the kind of things that I've done for a championship. I have been willing to orphan children and widow wives. I have been willing to take young men and put them in wheelchairs for championships. How far will I go now, Jason Rose? How far? You think me dropping you on your head two times last week, you think that's as far as I'm going to take it? Jason Rose, I would do that to my own grandmother for a championship. So how far do you think I'm going to take this between you and I? You know, you think this is some kind of fairy tale, don't you? You think you're some kind of Cinderella man that's going to go to the ball and all his dreams are going to come true. This ain't Disney. This is the NWA. This is NWA Mid-South. This is my house. Jason Rose, you want to talk about your blue-collar mob? That's why this issue is so, so important to me. I can't let a guy like you, a guy like them, I can't let that kind of person beat one of the upper 1% of this business. It can't happen. You and your blue collar mob have to understand that I am a member of the empire. The empire that holds all the power. Jason Rose, you and your blue collar mob are the powerless. 
I promise. And when the golden boy Greg Anthony makes a promise, it's as good as gold.